thing I wanted to ask you is that when you finish a script, because often these days, very, very few scripts have one writer. They have rewriters or whatever. I've, I don't know if you've ever had an experience with that where somebody has said, you know, I want that, but I want to have somebody tinker with it. Has that happened to you? Um, oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, hang on, I remember the interview a few times. Peter O'Toole was wonderful, the way he spoke, uh, does speak. I asked him once about his days in the Navy, and he said, yes, I've polluted the seven oceans with my stomach's aversion to boating. <laughs> but he came up with this sort of rope, this spoke rather better than I could write. Uh, but his one is three kinds of madness. Madness, divine madness, and making films. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, the thing coming up, yes, the bullying, the cajoling, a lot of people getting involved and wanting their say, certainly there's the direct, the producer, first of all, then the director, and then even actors um, wanting to pull it. That's why it's so important that whatever you hand over or you do sell, you're so sure of it, not have doubts. So if you have doubts, maybe don't voice them about things and look for what you hear may improve it. But be very, very sure of what you want. You've got to be kind of tough this. There is a lot of bullying. Mm -hmm. But I've got to kind of, I can't work with it. I did a, a couple of musicals working with someone else and actually I'm a very selfish writer. I've got to do it myself. Um, there's it's something happening at the moment uh, where uh, dissatisfied, so let someone else take it over. Uh, but I don't want to sit in the same room writing it with them. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, it's something obviously I don't feel so passionately about, so it's a financial arrangement, really. Well, you're, you're writing, basically you're writing a commodity, you're writing something to sell, which is also mm -hmm. yours, but if you are going to be so possessive of it, it's sometimes... Um, what, what I'm saying is, is that... Um, I, I noticed that thing. is the, the difference in the credits, isn't it? It's by so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so. And so. That means the and did more, or there's all those kind of little yes, rules, there, there isn't is, there? Yes, there is a, a, a hierarchy there. Or with, and... Uh, yeah. I, I, it's something, uh, at the moment, uh, very fortunate, that doesn't kind of appeal to me too much. The other thing, of course, is it's good talking about the idea. Very often, when it comes to a commission, someone's interest... You may find with first scripts, they don't kind of, that one doesn't grab them enough to want to do. They will ask you what else you're interested in doing. You, it's always good. You always have something, the next thing in mind. Don't be a one-hit wonder. Have knowing that when you're writing, a good incentive suddenly to finish something is that you can't wait to get on with the next thing. Um, so when you call in for the meetings, they're not quite sure about this one. See if you can convince them. But what else are you doing? And it's nice to talk through something. Yes, that's how, from the kernel of your idea, not fully formed, and then that might fit into the pattern of something that they, is going to grab yeah. them, yeah. Sure but there'd be a lot of talking about it beforehand, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you, would you agree with this, that if somebody can stop you from writing, they should? I think if you want to write, no one can stop you, yeah. Uh, oh, no, oh, it's, it's, I, no I, I, I'm guessing you... To, uh, I mean, that's very glib. I no, no, but I think, I'm trying to work out what you mean. Like something about if your son wants to be a writer, tell, discourage him until you get a proper job. <laughs> I mean, it's just one of these things where people, where everybody thinks they can write. Yeah. And um, they don't realize that, that writing is actually much harder than it, than it reads. Oh, no, that, God, it is, oh, it was certainly after, it's long before it was big, uh, popular success with uh, people in pubs. You wrote long before... Tell you something, I've got a great idea. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I can't write. You, I'll give you the idea. We go 50 50. And oh, I got into a good, li good line <laughs> thing here. I say, well, wait a minute. Yeah, it sounds like it might be great not wanting to hear it. Uh, what I mean, I'm in the middle of writing something at the moment. Tell you what, if I give you my phone number, could you call me in about two weeks and we we'll talk about it? My number then was 554-2192. They, they go to write it down. So instead of 554, it would be 555-2192. Five, 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 so if I ever bumped into them again, they say, well, I phoned you, it was the wrong number. Oh, you wrote it down wrong. <laughs> but that uh, happens again and again and again. Yeah.